Hello everyone and I am very excited to share with you this new model from LF Alpha called as Paria 1 LLM. The unique feature of this model is that it is very very focused in terms of geography plus the industries. In this video I am going to give you an overview of this model plus we are also going to get it installed locally on our system and then we will test it out on various benchmarks. Faria 1 LLM 7 billion model family encompasses two foundational models developed by LF Alpha Research. These models are publicly available under the Open LF license, which is a license explicitly allowing for non commercial research and educational use. This family of models comes in two distinct variants. First one is Faria. 1 LLM 7 billion control as you can see here and the other one is control aligned. Due to being trained on multilingual corpus, both models are culturally and linguistically optimized for German, French and Spanish. The Faria 1 LLM 7 billion models were trained on carefully curated data in compliance with applicable European Union and national regulations including copyright and data privacy laws. With improved token efficiency, the Faria 1 LLM 7 billion control models excels in domain specific applications, particularly in automotive and engineering industries. So if you are in Germany, France or Spain and if you are related to automotive and engineering industries, I think this focused model could be of immense help. As such, these serves as a valuable complement to the community selection of weight available foundation models in my opinion. Now what is the difference between this control model, let me go slightly up, this control model and the control aligned model. The control model is engineered to deliver concise length controlled responses that match the performance of leading open source models in 7 billion to 8 billion parameter range. Faria 1 LLM 7 billion control can be aligned to user preferences, making it suitable for critical applications without the risk of shutdown behavior. So control, control aligned has received additional alignment training to mitigate the risks associated with using the model. If I give you a bit more detail and I'm spending a bit more time here because that is very important. This aligned model is an instruction tuned model that has been further refined through human and LLM preferences. In this alignment process, they employed KTO with a learning rate of 1E6 and a beta parameter of 0.1. During initial training, they observed that the model began to produce partial repetitions so they filtered out generated samples with repetitions and included them as negative preferences in the data mix. And that is why the quality has really uh, become very amazing for these models. Whereas again, the control model is also instruction tuned model, but without any preference alignment. And this variant did not go under, did not undergo additional safety training. So if you are looking for very much aligned, very much grounded, very much safe model, then go with this control aligned. Or if you want to have a bit more liberal model in those industries, which you might be able to fine tune or preference align to your own data, maybe then go with this control model. Okay, so now you know what these models are and I will drop the link to their model card in video description. Let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Okay, so let me now take you to my local terminal where we are going to start installing it. As you can see that I'm running Ubuntu 22.0. Four, whereas I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a virtual environment and make sure that you install Python uh, 3.10 uh, 
with this quantum environment because that is uh, what has been tested with this so let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a minute to get it activated and that has been activated next up let's git clone the scaling library because that is how you can do the inference with it you cannot do the usual transformers library with it at the moment it seems so let me git clone the scaling now this scaling um, is a distributed training library and an installable dependency which is designed to scale up neural networks with a dedicated module for training also and there are two components of it a model agnostic core module which functions as an engine for distributed training workloads and the scaling tra dot transformer suite which is specifically designed for LLM training so and you can read through more about it if you like anyway so let's install all the components from this scaling just do pip install dot and it is going to take a bit of a time as it installs a lot of stuff from the scaling library everything is installed in terms of scaling let me clear the screen next up let's install hugging face hub because we need to log into hugging face so you would need to go to huggingface.co and then from there grab your read token from your profile it is free i already have my token so i'm just going to paste my token here in order to log in just press capital y and you can see that now i am logged in here let me clear the screen and the reason why i am doing it is that because i needed to download the control model for that i'm just going to use python interpreter let's import snapshot download and now let's actually download the model with the snapshot underscore download and there are a lot of layers in the pytorch format which it downloads so let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a bit of our time so the download speed looks really good today which is awesome and you can see that the model has been downloaded now make sure that you grab this path because this is a path where your model is present so i've just copied it by right clicking on it and let me show you now how you can do the inference with it okay let's first clear the screen i'm just using python lambda that is done and now let's do the inference in order to do the inference let's import our path module then let's import the scaling it might give us a warning about flash attention because i my gpu doesn't support flash attention so i haven't installed it but you can install it if you like next up let's grab our model from the local path which we have just downloaded and i'm just using this transform transformer inference module from checkpoint and then giving it the whole path let's wait for it to load shouldn't take too long first time it takes a bit of a time to load that is done next up let's give it a prompt so this is a prompt template which it follows and here it seems like a llama 3 sort of format anyway so the question which we are asking it um, just to start it when was rome founded let's try to generate the response from the model and by the way behind the scene it uses sentence piece tokenizer and there you go so you see concise answer spot on correct no frills you get uh, what you asked for the so room was founded in april 21st uh, now let's try to ask some questions related to maybe um, eu regulations plus maybe some automotive industry questions just to see how it works okay so let me clear the screen and first up let's ask some of the questions related to eu regulations so you see i am asking here it how does the eu's e-privacy directive impact online businesses let's wait for it to come back there you go so we have got the response that the eu's privacy directive also known as this um directive on privacy and it is telling me about it now if you want to increase the length you can just increase it from here for example you can just say maybe 500 and then you can simply generate it again 
let's wait for it and there you go you can see that now the response has a bit more in depth and these are the key impacts of e-privacy and it has gone in and given us all the stuff amazing amazing response and then look at the summary looks really good stuff okay so now let me ask it another one i'm going to first clear the screen and you see i'm asking here what are the key regulatory requirements for autonomous vehicles in germany so i'm not going to ask some of the automotive industry in germany maybe some engineering questions from french and spanish industries so let's see how it goes and you can see that the response is again of very high quality very focused in germany autonomous vehicles are regulated by combination of national laws eu directives and then it is going around all the directives and regulations and you can see that all of them are really cool and look at this autonomous driving act and it is totally from the local stuff insurance and all the stuff and i have just kept a token to 250 good stuff let's try out one french one in the french one i'm asking it what role does the french national agency for the improvement of working conditions and net play in ensuring workplace safety let's see what it comes back with and again a very grounded response that the french national agency for improvement of working conditions plays crucial role and then it is describing what an act is and then all the main objectives like um, encouraging dialogue providing expertise implementing monitoring amazing stuff okay let's try out one spanish one in this i'm asking it how is the spanish government's plan this de inversion uh, impacted the engineering industry so let's see what it says and there you go again a very grounded response it is just telling us what exactly this plan is plan avanza and then it is also even um, telling us the translation advanced plan it's a comprehensive initiative launched by the spanish government amazing stuff and finally though it doesn't mention that it has been trained on australian data let's try to ask it an australian question i'm asking it what are the key environmental regulations governing mining operations in western australia let's see if it is able to do that and there you go so the model is quite uh, educated you, you can see that it is um, replying me in a very very grounded way even for the australian stuff like environmental protection for water policy and different uh, protection acts so really good stuff very very impressed by the model i think uh, very grounded very focused spot on and to the point I will also drop all the code which I have used in my blog and I will drop the link in video's description. Feel free to play around with it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.